so we're at uh, Beaver Container Systems in Saskatoon trying to pick out a couple sweet 20-foot containers. Um, we're in the process of our new build, as you guys know, and we've got a lot of stuff right now, sets of tires and sets of tracks and stuff that we need to store and get it out of the get it out of our freaking hair. So what's better, you know, safe, secure, no freaking rodents can get in. You can lock them. They're pretty freaking secure. Is a shipping container. So we're at Beaver Container Systems here. We're gonna try to find a couple good ones. Look through some good ones. Buy some used ones. They're economical. So I was gonna say the dog hosts. You know the new home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was one over there. It was set up pretty sweet with some shelves and stuff. That's a good thing about them is you can kind of configure the interiors. I've seen ones with... You could make them into the dog house. Really? You could make them into a cool tree house, man. Like okay. you could put windows and doors and they're pretty sweet. All right. But anyways, let's try to find some good ones. All right. <laughs> How's this one look? <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Suspended dance hall. <laughs> can I do this first? Tell me how, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Tell me if it's, if it's all the way dark. What? Tell me if it's all the way dark. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You get a tiny bit of light from there. Yeah. But yeah, look at how many tie down points, right? Well, I guess these guys, these gotta come across the ocean with all kinds of freight in them. So they got a million freaking tie down points, which is nice. This one's sweet, maybe we'll get a good deal. It's got a bit of damage on it, but all in all, it's a really, really nice one. We can have a dance in here. Look yeah. Imagine a 40 footer, like four, twice as long, huge. Well, but then, but then a 40 footer is tough for us to move. Yeah. A 20 footer, we can move ourselves. Stuff getting in and out. Yeah, that too, right? Like unless you were just putting in machines that you could, you know, drive. Yeah, totally. So yeah, hopefully we can make a deal on this one. It is really, really nice. Real nice. We had to go to the, we had to go to the, <laughs> to the second yard to Got view these ones. The oh, that's yeah. your house. It actually folds. I swear, I swear to God, in like grade five, we had these things called portables. Yes, we did. Classrooms. Yes. <laughs> and they were freezing. I swear. Yes. Yes. I swear that's what they were, man. Anybody from <laughs> they were, our era. Yeah. Portables. Yeah. Don't even kid yourself. They were just linked together. Yeah, they were terrible. <laughs> Yeah, totally. I, I, I got to sit in a lot of portables when I was a kid because it was like, you know what? You're in trouble getting them. <laughs> the portable? You were in trouble lots as a kid? Never. Never. <laughs> Why are you such a badass? Yeah. All right. Let's, he's on the phone making the, he's brokering the deal for us. So we'll let you know how it goes. All right, boys. We picked out in a sweet one. James is going to load it for us. James, you're going to be in the video now. <laughs> Hurry on. He says he watches a lot of YouTube. He says, screw paying for cable when you can watch YouTube. Yeah, that is a beauty. So he's going to throw her right on the back. And the best thing about our AA trailer is it's hydraulic tilt. So we'll get home, tilt her up, and slide her off. At least that's what I envision in my head. <laughs> so hopefully it works that good. He's loading it doors to the front, so when we unload it, it'll be exactly how we need to use it, doors to the front. So good thing he asked, because that was something that wasn't even in my head. This isn't James's first rodeo. He says he's been here for three years, so he knows every facet of the container industry. Says he used to be delivery driver, but now he's just yard guy. That is a freaking big forklift, man. <laughs> uh, empty weight, these are around 4,200 pounds. So they definitely got some, some girth to them, but definitely not too heavy for us to haul on our trailer. Look at the snorkel on that thing. Look how deep you could go with that could drive through some dugouts. That is one loud backup alarm. That is a massive freaking forklift. <laughs> Be funny to pick up the whole dually. <laughs> 
So I think our trailer is eight foot six wide, and I think these containers are eight feet wide, I think. Actually, they look like they're both gonna be almost exactly. It's gotta go forward a tiny bit. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. She is freaking straight on there. Could have went another inch this way, but... Oh, look at him, he's so smart. Excellente. Nice work, James. All right, let's throw some straps over this baby. Over first, first attempt. Okay, don't smash it. Don't be the first dinter. <laughs> oh, almost too far. All right, let's strap this baby down and. How many straps should we have? More? I'd say one more, probably. Yeah, okay. We might have to buy some. <laughs> two would probably work. I have like a hundred at home, but brought two. <laughs> Mrs. Austin's camera. <laughs> Ran out of space right in mid slide, but anyways, it worked out good. The strap held and it just slid right off. No damage to the trailer. Let's take a peek inside. See, here's what I was talking about where the lock goes in here. Like, you cannot get in there to cut a lock. I think it's that's what it's meant for. Oh, no, I'm, it is. I'm just saying. It's pretty secure. It's tight. Get in there. Drag, you get in there. <laughs> Take your shoes off. <laughs> Dry as a freaking bone. That's awesome. That's such good storage. Protect all our stuff. And... So we'll fill this sucker up to the freaking sky. Oh, free rope. <laughs> Okay, now that we got our new container home from Beaver Container Systems in Saskatoon, what do we have to do? It still has that new container smell. So we're gonna have to do something about that. I was in high gear. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> She's definitely not gonna have that new container smell anymore. Smell of burnt rubber! You gotta clean that up. No. <laughs> Our poor Blackwaters. I'm gonna apologize to you right now. That probably, <laughs> I 
you guys probably didn't like that very much. <laughs> oh, I wonder how much tire particles are in the air filter. <laughs> well, that was a very short but very successful. That wasn't high. I should have looked at the speedometer. Man, it was like uh, at one point I was looking at the RPMs. It was like 8,900. So <laughs> those tires were really freaking moving. <laughs> All right, let's try to get this rubber washed off. <laughs> 